Ladies and gentlemen, happy Ramadan. We are going to talk today about a disease which has been uh, uh, found in the last 20 years. Uh, this is actually AIDS. AIDS is a disease which stands for the initials of acquired immune deficiency syndrome. And it's caused by a virus called HIV, a human immune deficiency virus. AIDS right now is a global disease. No single country did not report uh, cases of AIDS. Uh, every day there are about 16,000 new cases of AIDS. That means that every six seconds there is a person all over the world who get infected by the HIV virus. So it's very important to talk about AIDS and how it's transmitted uh, and uh, uh, in the month of Ramadan we have to talk about the uh, these how to prevent AIDS and the, uh, the condition of the AIDS patient or carrier uh, if he can uh, fast or not. First, uh, the modes of transmission of AIDS are well known right now. It's uh, transmitted through sexual intercourse, uh, either homosexual intercourse or heterosexual intercourse. Number two, uh, through uh, uh, sharing needles or uh, scalpels or uh, a any acute uh, bladed instruments like uh, the dental uh, instruments if it doesn't uh, uh, if, if it, it has not been uh, st sterilized well before using uh, from a, a patient or a carrier to a healthy person. Uh, number three of course uh, transferring uh, blood or blood components or blood derivatives like RBCs or uh, hemophilia factors or something like that from a carrier or a patient to a normal person. The, uh, the last thing which is uh, transmitting uh, HIV infection or AIDS is uh, the uh, through from the mother to uh, its uh, newborn or to the infant in 5 to 15 percent of the cases and now we have actually uh, uh, some uh, medications which reduce this uh, uh, percentage and which uh, can uh, give rise to uh, a healthy baby uh, without any manifestations of AIDS. Now we are talking about AIDS. Uh, if you are talking about AIDS itself, AIDS means the, the blowing of AIDS manifestations is manifested by around 25 manifestations. Any of the 25 manifestations could denote the presence of AIDS. When I can consider the AIDS carrier a patient, these includes 25 characteristics, uh, including a lot of things uh, either uh, the opportunistic infections, which appears maybe pneumosis carinii in the lung, maybe diarrhea, chronic uh, diarrhea for more than two or three months, which doesn't respond to any treatment, uh, disseminated uh, candidiasis in the gastrointestinal tract. Uh, we find ulcers in the mouth and uh, all over the GIT, and uh, of course. Uh, these manifestations are a lot and it has to be diagnosed by the physician. The physician should put AIDS among his differential diagnosis. Uh, Kaposi sarcoma, like it's like uh, uh, something which is uh, 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 a cancer of the skin, which is a normal person, it's a self-limited disease. But in the AIDS patient, due to the uh, breakdown of the immune system, uh, it proliferates all over the body and it needs treatment. Uh, when we give this patient therapy, and if there is an effective therapy or not, that is something which we are going to talk about in the next few minutes. Uh, actually, we have now a cocktail which is used. Uh, it's three drug combinations. Uh, which is used to uh, prevent uh, or to attack the proliferation of the virus and uh, to reduce its 
uh, proliferation in blood, the virus disappears from the blood at all, even through the analysis. And we, when we do the PCR, which is the, the test to detect the amount of the virus in the body, we find that uh, we cannot detect the virus even when uh, the, this amount is uh, just five uh, copies per microliter. Uh, so uh, this is an achievement. I found that uh, this is an achievement. The immune system returns to health back and the CD4 or the key helper cells, which is the target of the immune system and uh, which is the maestro, the conductor of the immune system, uh, uh, which the AIDS virus attacks, re re regains again to its healthy and to its count, and the patient uh, moves to his normal or her normal life again. The problem here is that this drug is a very expensive drug. This combination of drugs is a very expensive drug. It needs around $1,000 per month. And now it's, it's been taken for life. We don't know what's going on to occur tomorrow, but right now it's been taken uh, 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 for life. So nobody can afford to take this. And if he stops these drugs, he might uh, die within one month after it's stopping. So when we start this treatment, we have to have in mind something to uh, uh, maintain the source of medications for this patient. The patient, uh, the AIDS patient actually suffers from a lot of things, but the main thing is to protect the immune system and to regain its healthy status and to prevent the virus from proliferation. Other opportunistic infections or sarcoma or kaposi or anything else could be treated well. Uh, even the appetite of the AIDS patient uh, becomes improved and he returns back to normal. Does the AIDS patient could fast or could the AIDS patient fast? Actually, yes. There is uh, a lot of uh, new medications which we can give the patient in a single or double dose per day. Uh, four years ago, this patient uh, uh, could take around 15 pills per day uh, to uh, maintain his medications. Now, uh, it is just three or four pills per day and they are taken in two uh, uh, doses uh, could be divided 12 hours uh, or something like that and the AIDS patient actually could fast but under the supervision of his physician and according to his status, health status and according to the manifestations which appears uh, uh, through the whole body and uh, there is an important thing that uh, the spiritual uh, aspect of Ramadan gives a boost for the immune system uh, to regain its healthy status again and uh, actually uh, Ramadan reminds us with something which uh, God told us that a single faithful partner is uh, something which protects ourselves uh, from getting a lot of diseases uh, through sexual intercourse which uh, is actually uh, uh, right now uh, count for 40 diseases could be transmitted through sexual uh, intercourse or random sexual intercourse with multiple sex partners. Also negligence is one of the factors which uh, spread AIDS uh, through uh, non sterilizing the medical equipments and uh, non checking the blood and blood components and this is a very important issue which we should uh, be careful about because this is a life of uh, a patient or his death.